welcome. And very happy Thursday, everyone. So happy to have you with us in, on this uh, platform, as I was saying earlier. Um, it's a great way for us to connect, even though we're asked, being asked. I prefer not to call it social distancing because we do need to be social. And as much as we can connect with one another, that would be, uh, I think, one of the best things that we can do right now. So I prefer to call it like I was listening to the governor of California the, the other day, and he's calling it like physical distancing. Just taking that part serious about being away from one another physically to protect one another. So we are thrilled for those of you that decide to join us this way. And so we can keep socially connecting even this way. And so today I have a, a, a brief and flow that we usually, I usually teach this class at 9.45 on Thursdays. And uh, we will do a little bit of settling down as we usually do when I start this class. We'll focus some, a little bit of time on the breath, and then we'll begin moving slowly to set up for, for a, a bigger type of yoga. And then as always, we'll end up soft, centered, and doing a little bit more breath work. So if you're out for it, let's go ahead and begin. I was telling to some of you earlier, if you have a blog or two or a couple of books, you can bring that with you and a blanket and a belt. And so as we sit here, we want to find out, begin feeling how the body feels in this seated position. And if it's comfortable enough, go ahead and stay as you are, or go ahead and begin to adjust and adapt so that you can be here for a little bit longer. We're gonna close our eyes, or simply soften your gaze if that's more accessible to you. It's all about for you, making this space your own. In these times of what the, the challenge, this global challenge that the coronavirus has brought into our lives, it's more important than ever to be connecting to what's going on within ourselves. Because we're being bombarded with all this information. And then it's more present than ever that no Everything is only here and now. But one thing we do know that right here and now we are breathing. And we can bring the attention to the breath. Without any control on the breath, it's more about moving into that place of exploration to begin to notice the sensations in the body through your breath. And you can even tell yourself that you notice how you breathe in and that you notice how when you breathe out. Taking a small pause between the inhales and the exhales and between the exhales and the inhales. So you tell yourself, I feel my breath in and I feel my breath out. And you follow the pace of your breath. No need to go faster or slower if that's not what your body is asking for. So it's us that begin to adapt to the breath and not the other way around. Just follow that pace of your breath for a few more moments. Beginning to notice once again with those sensations on the, both the physical and the inner body, how you slowly begin to come into an ease, into a place of comfort as you sit here. So we go through this transition from the moment we come into a posture where we eventually come to a place where it feels like this is good. I want to be here. I don't need to do anything. But knowing also that everything is impermanent, that that too is going to change. And 
You stay here for a few more breaths. See if you can soften the eyelids even a little bit more. And that space in between your eyebrows, soften. Softening the lips, the cheeks, and all the skin throughout your whole body. If it starts becoming more and more natural for you to be connecting to the breath, see if you can go a little bit deeper, longer, more conscious breaths. Just observing how that more conscious breath allows the body to expand even more and then to soften and surrender as you exhale. Beautiful. With that, let's go ahead and bring the hands together in front of the heart. We'll open up with the sound of OM if you'd like to join. Otherwise, we'll just meet afterwards. Let's all begin by exhaling fully. Breathe it all out. And inhale for OM. Ah. Gently bowing down towards the center of the heart. Go ahead and release your hands and bring your chin back up right up to the earth. As you begin to blink your eyes open until you feel fully ready to open your arms, complete your eyes completely. <laughs> All right. So from here, we're going to make our way over onto a child's pose. So whatever you may be sitting on, go ahead and bring it over to the side. I also wanted to say, Feels like I may be getting a cold, so if my voice every now and then seems a little bit funky, it's just because of that. All right? So making it over onto a tabletop, go ahead and bring the big toes to touch, and then open your knees wide, drop your hips down onto the heels, and stretch your arms long up and over the head. If you can drop your head down onto the mat, go ahead. Maybe the tip of your forehead is the one touching the ground. And so just let the gravity slowly take over for you. If it is just for a few breaths. So today, this is the breath and the flow. We're working on letting go. So it's all about that, letting other forces, other energies that we know are not always there to take over every now and then. Nightly done. Go ahead and just lift your head lightly so you can look to the tip of your fingers on the inhale. On the exhale, you're going to walk the arms over to the right. So get over to the right, maybe the left hand lands on top of your right hand or not, and lower your head back down. So in this place, we're going for the stretch on the other side of the body. Try to see how much you can lower that left rib cage down towards the earth. Go ahead on your inhale, just gently looking up to the tip of your fingers, exhaling, walking all the way over towards the left side of your mat, the other side, or as far as you can get, maybe the right hand lands on your left hand, and lower your head back down, hips back down towards your heels, and let go for a few moments. Mm -hmm. Notice where there be a little bit of resistance in your body. Just observing, not necessarily trying to change it, just let it be for a few moments as you breathe into it. And then from here, look up to the tip of your fingers on your inhale. Go ahead on the exhale, bring yourself back to center. Nicely done. Go ahead, tuck your toes under and come back up onto tabletop. Yeah? Now you can point your toes or keep your toes tucked under. Let's just see what works for you here. Begin to make a few circles. So yes, we allow ourselves to start a little bit slow. So we want the body to wake up. We want to feel our bodies as well. Knowing that in just for a few moments, we're gonna start moving even more with the breath. 
because we also want to set all those emotions that may be sitting in our bodies. We want to set them in motion. So we're able to release all the maybe cortisol, adrenaline, getting stuck in our bodies. Beautiful, come back to center. Now, yes, keep your toes tucked under if you're not there yet. Tuck your toes under. Come onto your heels. Now, if this is a little bit too intense, a toe pose, you may want to sit on your block. So on your block or your book or your cushion, any props that may help you make your practice accessible, we're all for it. So if that's the case, go ahead and sit on your, on your block. Good. So from here, we're going to bring the hands together in front of the heart again. Right here and exhale and round your back and your chin down towards the heart. Now we're going to interlace the fingers on the inhale, stretch the arms long, arch the back and look up. Exhaling, come back. Hands to the heart. Round a lot, navel in. And go ahead and arch. Push your tail all the way back. Exhale. And we'll do that a few more times. Inhale. And exhale. If you haven't started the Ujjayi breath, and you have that in your practice, go ahead. This is a perfect time to start connecting to the ujjayi breath. That sound of the ocean. One more time. And one more time, if it's your arching or rounding, let's begin to make our way back onto a long, straight spine, releasing the arms down. You're probably already feeling it on your toes, so come back onto a tabletop and tap your toes. Ah, yeah, very nice. All right, we're gonna go back to that same place, except we're gonna point the toes now down. Mm -hmm. Coming back onto the heels. This time, let me just turn over so you can see me from here. Gonna reach the arms up and over the head. So palms are out first, and then they're gonna join all the way up and over the head. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and interlace your fingers and turn the palms up towards the sky. One more inhale, lengthen. Go ahead and exhale, bending over to your left. Coming back up, inhale. Exhale, bending over to your right. Lengthen and pull that left arm. One more time, inhale. Exhale, in. Let it all up. Come back to center. And the last time over to your right. Beautiful, let it all out, 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 out. Come back to center with that delicious inhale. And exhale, lower both hands down. Once again, back to tabletop, all fours, excellent. So from here, let's go ahead and turn our gaze over to the right fingers, reach the right hand up and over the head, twist. And on the exhale, you're gonna round your back, lower through, and all the way over to your left landing, if accessible to the outer side of the right shoulder. Left hand is down, reach your left arm high up. Variate, mm -hmm. modify it to whichever way it makes it accessible to you. And keep the breath flowing. Nicely done. One more. Try to reach even higher up. Exhaling, left and down. All fours. Just realigning ourselves here. Feel your spine. Changing sides. Right hand grounds. Left arm up and over the head. And on the exhale, round, lower through. Go all the way over to your right, this time landing on the outer side of your left shoulder. Mm, stay with the right hand down and reach the right arm up, 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 and over the head. Over your shoulder. Back to the breath. One more time, inhale. And exhale, right hand down, slowly pressing. To bring ourselves back onto that same tabletop. Beautiful. Tuck your toes under. <laughs> Reach the hips down toward the heels. Look forward. Walk your hands a little bit further away from you. And we're going to make our way up to a downward facing dog. Push up. Come onto the ball of your feet so your legs are really, really long. Bend your knees slightly and begin to walk your dog. Let the head drop here, let it get soft. So bend one knee 
and the other. And continue noticing one movement, your breath. Coming back onto the ball of the feet. Go ahead and lengthen the spine. Maybe this time you're going to lengthen your legs. Excellent. Inhaling, we're going to roll over onto a plank. And exhale, knees down, hips back. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll over to your plank. Look forward. Exhale, knees down, hips all the way back. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, downward dog. Are you getting a bit warm now? Inhale, roll your spine. Exhale, lower. Hips down. And one more time. Let's make our way back up to downward facing dog. Feel those hips reaching all the way up towards the sky. Long arms. Hold it here, lots of space in between your fingers. Lightly on. On the next inhale, look forward past your hands. Come out to the ball of your feet. Bend your knees. And to begin with, we're just going to walk the feet all the way to the top of the mat. In between your hands or to the sides, right? Stay on the forward fold. Go ahead and grasp your elbows. And let the head drop, let the arms drop. Feel the weight of the shoulders just reaching further, further down. And we're going to begin to sweep from side to side, front and back, all the way. And then go and put all that together, do a few circles. Mm -hmm. And reversing to the opposite direction. And let your knees be soft. Excellent, releasing both hands down, just like a rabbit doll. Let yourself hang here for one full breath. Bringing the hands over onto the shins. Go ahead and lengthen your spine, move forward. Exhaling the navel all the way in, come back down. Inhale, hands to shins. Exhale, forward fold. One more time, inhale. Exhale, forward and down. Nicely done. Now strong rooted legs. Let's make our way up to standing, reaching the arms up and over the head. Exhale, hands to the heart. Samasthiti and mountain pose. There you go. Hold it at your mountain pose, stay there for a few moments. So what we don't notice always in our lives, especially when the pace is going so fast, is that we don't get a chance to pause. And it is on the pause that we notice all what's going on from within. Now, nowadays we got that pause, but are we still pausing? Are we, are we actually slowing down? So let's use this gift to our benefit. A few more breaths. Feel how you're grounding from the ground, from the heels. So also the feet all the way to the crown of your head. Beautiful, okay? Let's do a few soul salutations. Let's begin to move with the breath. Inhaling arms up and over the head. With your exhale, go forward, up and down. Inhaling, look up. Exhale, both hands down, step both feet back to plank. Widen your shoulder blades. Inhale here. Exhale, lower knees. Point your toes, come all the way down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, roll down on your cobra. Press the feet down against the earth. Inhale, one more. Exhale, roll down. And let's do one more. Inhale. Exhale. Put your toes on there, reach back to a child's And come back to the your facing dog. As you get out there, maybe try to reach the heels down towards the earth. In a couple of breaths more. Feel the breath leaving your body. 
On our next inhale, we'll look forward, bend your knees. And on your exhale, flow or walk over to the top of your mat. Inhale here, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Rooting your legs strong. Come all the way up to standing. Three turns up and over there. Exhale for mountain. Full breath out. Round yourself. Inhale, reach the arms up and over the head. Exhale forward, up and down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands down. Step with the other foot back to plank. Stay here. Two breaths this time. Widen your shoulder blades. Strong, strong thighs. Inhale. Exhale, knees or chaturanga if you prefer chaturanga. Come all the way down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Choose one of those. And this time, roll over your toes. We'll come back to downward facing dog. Nicely done. Adjust your dog. Drop your head. Lengthen the spine. Mm. On our next inhale, we look forward, bend the knees. On the exhale, walk or float over to the top of your mat. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Reach all the way up to standing, arms up and over the head. Exhale, samasthiti. Mountain pose. All the breath out. Bring yourself back to your center base stillness. And we'll do one more of these, inhaling arms up and over the head. Exhale, forward, out and down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands down, step the other foot back to plank. Three breaths this time. Stay here, widen your shoulder blades. Look forward. Inhale, on your exhale, chaturanga, or knees down, move the way down. Again, cobra or up dog. Your up dog legs are off the floor. Roll over your toes. Downward facing dog. Let's do three full breaths. Notice how you make your way back to your breath. And if there's anything pulling you away from right here, right now, observe what that is. Why would that be pulling you away from this moment? Mm -hmm. On our next inhale, look forward, bend your knees. On your exhale, float or walk over to the top. Inhale, exhale, forward, fold. Come all the way up to standing. Arms up and over the head. Exhale, hands to the heart. Sama Siddhi Tarasana. Realigning with your breath, with your stance, feel the pull up towards the skies and the setting down towards the earth. So we're looking for that place of balance within ourselves that is always there. So the outer circumstances may be pulling us away from it, but right here, right now, we connect to the ground. Yeah. Back up, inhaling arms up and over the head. Exhale forward, out and down. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, hands down. This time we're just going to step back to a downward facing dog. Yes. On downward facing dog, let's reach the right leg up and back. Reach, 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 reach. Come on to the ball of your left foot. Inhale. On the exhale, we're going to reach the right knee over to the left elbow. And come back up, three-legged dog, reach. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right knee to the heart. Hold it, look forward, and then gently step the right foot in between your hands. Turn, pivot your left heel down and come all the way up to a warrior two. Open your arms wide. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So check here, you may be standing heel to heel. Or if you need a little bit more grounding support, 
Walk your right foot over to the right edge of your mat. Open the arms wide. Turn the gaze over to your right, the right tip of your finger. Nice, you And keep letting your body settle here. Open the space in between your shoulders. Turning that right palm up, inhale. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Go deeper. Inhale, open to your warrior two. And exhale, make it over onto a, an extended side angle. Right forearm onto your thigh. Ah, left arm long up and over your head. If you want to go deeper, right hand can come down. Just don't lose that concentration, the focus on the breath, still supporting you here. Nicely done. One more inhale here. Exhale. With your inhale, come back up. And straighten that front knee. Shorter the stance. Once again, maybe heel to heel or right foot a little bit over to the right, like on train tracks. Mm -hmm. Turn your left toes further in. Inhale, triangle. Push your right hip back and reach until you can come further. Right hand down, left arm up. Gaze maybe up. Or down, it's up to you. How can you be kind to yourself, to your body here? Feel the neck, feeling at home, being part of the whole practice. Do one more exhale here. And on your inhale, we'll come all the way up to standing. We're gonna turn the right foot in. Put both hands down. And begin to open your legs wide for a wide leg stance. So the toes are a little bit further in than the heels. Open the arms wide again, inhale. Exhaling hands lower behind the back to interlace the fingers. Now reach the hands down, heart up, gaze up, inhale. On the exhale, forward fold. Go forward. Out and down. Now pull your rib, rib cage in and let the crown of the head drop. Check out with your arches if they're also just as active as the outer side of your feet. Softening the elbows allows for more space in between the shoulder blades to go deeper over the head. Nice and Inhale. And go ahead on your exhale. We're going to release both hands down. And we're going to walk the feet over towards the left foot. Mm -hmm. Turn your left foot towards that side of the mat. And then we're going to lower the right heel down. Warrior two. Just a change in sides. And begin to adjust your stance to, to your warrior two. So the warrior has its own, its own circumstances for each and every one of us. Turn the gaze over to the left tip of the fingers. Nicely done. See how you're, you're starting to feel more settled slowly. Just the same as when we were sitting at the beginning of the class. Let's turn the left thumb up, inhale, and on the exhale, reverse. Go deep. Nicely done, inhale. Exhale for an extended side angle. Your forearm onto your thigh. The right arm reaches up long and over your ear. Long, long, long. So feel if you're still going to connect to the other side of the right foot to lengthen the skin. If you want to go deeper, reach the right arm long, left hand down. Beautiful. Couple of breaths more. On your next inhale, come back up. Straighten the front knee. Adjust your stance now for triangle. Often we need less distance between the legs, okay? Again, heel to heel or a little bit wider. Open the arms wide, inhale. Exhale, push your left hip back, 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 back. The upper body starts reaching forward, bending over to the side, then the left hand down. Right arm up. 
gaze up or down. How, do you, how can you go deeper in the softest of ways? How can we make this about what it is here and now and not about what we think it should be? Nicely done. So go ahead and exhale fully one more time here. And inhale, come up. Turn your left toes in, lower both hands down. Finally, that white-legged stance. Open the arms wide, inhale. Exhale, go forward and down, forward, forward, hands down. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. And exhale, start walking your hands over to your right leg. So we're gonna bring the torso with us, turn the right, the left, free catch over to the left. And maybe we're gonna reach the right arm up towards the sky. Let the head drop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let go, more and more. One more inhale. On your exhale, come back to center. Hands down, inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, lower, forward fold as we begin to turn, twist over towards the left leg. Hold the inner or outer side of your leg, drop your head, and then reach the left arm up. Mm -hmm. So this is very appropriate for these times. It's like the whole world is upside down. So in this perspective, how does it look? You're okay. Reach one more time, inhale. And gently on the exhale, both hands come back down under the shoulders. Lengthen your spine, look forward. And we begin to walk the hands back to the top of the mat. Stand on the ball of the back foot. And we're gonna step the left foot forward to forward fold. Excellent. And on the forward fold, just let yourself hang here. Whichever work, way works best for you. Maybe you're going to grasp your elbows, hold and hook your peace fingers onto the big toes. Either way, let go. And so we begin to roll our way, letting the elbows or the toes go. And we roll our way up to standing. And once we get out there, have the shoulders set back, lengthening the spine. Everything goes back to place. Take a few breaths on your mountain. Mm -hmm. Then you may even want to close your eyes. On mountain pose, feel the four corners of the, of the soles of the feet grounding, and we'll take a deep inhale through the nose. And take your tongue out, reach your eyes up, exhale. Lion's breath. Let's go ahead and take two lion's breath more. Inhaling. Exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Bring yourself back to center. Yeah, okay, I'm not trying to go to the top of your mat, but maybe you're there. Have your big toes touch, bend your knees. Bring your hands to the heart, foot chair. The hips are back. Yeah, reach the arms up and over your head, stretch your legs long. Again, the palms touch, come back to chair a little bit lower. Press the heels down, come back up, inhale. And exhale, hands to the heart. Yes, hold it here. Inhale. And on your exhale, you're going to turn and twist over to your right and hook maybe the left elbow to the outer side of your leg. Take one full breath here. Yes. On your inhale, come back to center. And then on the exhale, go ahead and turn, twist over to the right. Go ahead and hook your arm to the outer side of your leg. Full breath. I know we're feeling it. 
It's okay. Come back to center all the way up, reach the arms. Up, 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 and over the head. Nicely done. This time on the exhale, back to that chair, but we're gonna go all the way back down, 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 down. Do a squat. So the heels are most likely gonna reach up. Same thing, hands together, inhale. Exhaling, turn to twist over to your right. Lady hook. Just like we were doing before, or lower your hand down, open your arms wide. Go ahead and inhale, bring the hands back together. Exhaling, go ahead and turn, twist over to the right. Go ahead and hook, or open your arms wide. Trying to find our balance there. Come back to center. Inhale. Now see if we can drop the heels down or just press them down towards the earth. We come all the way up to standing, arms up and over the head. Exhale forward, out and down. Yeah, we're nice and warm here. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And exhale, both hands down. We're going to step both feet back to plank. So adjust if you need to walk your hands forward or your feet further back. Nicely done. Inhale your right knee in towards the heart. On your exhale, step your right foot up. Maybe stay there. Or come on to the ball of your left foot, to the whole sole of your left foot, and reach your left arm up. Go high, high up. Open your heart. One more breath, inhale. And on your exhale, softly. Take your time to come back. Right knee to the heart. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale. Back to plank. Let's change sides. Inhale, left leg in. Exhale, step your left foot to the outer side of your right hand. Turn, pivot your right foot down. If you want to go next step, right arm up. Chest up. Push your left hip up. One more inhale. Beautiful. Exhale slowly. Bring your left knee to the heart. Inhale, right left leg up and back. Exhale. Downward dog. You're doing so great. I'm so happy we're all here. Good. Let's reach that right leg up and back. And now we're going to move on to pigeon, bend your knee and reach all the way forward and down. Right knee by your right wrist. Taking that left leg long. Angle your shin just to the best of your ability. And this is where the blanket or the block could be useful. If you feel there's way too much space between the earth and your right hip, you can use your blanket. Mm -hmm. Place it right under the right body. Yeah. Tip of the fingers like hand plank. Inhale. Expanding the spine. Look up. And use your whole exhale to undulate your spine on your way down to a resting pigeon. You can bend your elbows or have your arms long. Take a few breaths here. Notice where you are, or maybe even where you've been. You can allow yourself to come back to that practice of impermanence, accepting that these two shall pass. You can bring both hands back down onto the mat. Lengthen the spine, look up, inhale. If you can go deeper, tuck the back toes under. Engage your lower navel. Press through the hands for downward facing dog. Bring the blanket over to the side and reach the left leg up and back. On your exhale, bend your knee, look forward. Step your left knee forward and down by your left wrist. Right leg long, toes down. Tip of the fingers to the earth, blend and expanding the spine, reach all the way up. On your exhale, use the whole undulation of your spine. 
to bring you down towards the earth for a resting pigeon. Letting go of the breath and in control, you may still have your let it go. You're going inwards. Beautiful, beautiful. We'll begin bringing the hands back somewhere right under the shoulders. Go ahead and expand the spine once again. Go for more length, a full breath in. And on the exhale, we're gonna lean over to the side, to your left side, and swing your right leg forward. Yes, so we're gonna come onto a cross-legged position. Could be that you, you'd like to use a blanket here right under the sitting bones. Mm -hmm. Take a moment here, cross-legged. Yes. Now from where we are, go ahead and Bring the sole of the right foot to the ground and point your right knee out towards the sky. Keep the left foot behind your right foot. If that is accessible, otherwise, you know, you start finding your variation to make it accessible for you to be here. Well, with the left hand, we're gonna hold, center the right knee. Bring your right arm behind you. Press gently to inhale. Go ahead on the exhale, turn twist over to your left, hogging or maybe hooking. You decide where you go, concentrating much more, not so more, much how deep we go into the body, but how are we processing the movement of the rotation. Be kind to the body and be kind to the breath. We'll do one more inhale and go ahead slowly on the exhale. Bring yourself back to center. Nicely done. Okay, we'll bring that left knee up, sole of the foot down, and lower your right knee down. Begin to adjust and adapt to your own place. Yeah, all good. Go ahead and bring your left knee closer to center. Left arm behind us. A gentle press to inhale. And then go ahead and turn, twist it. Do it from your rib cage. The spine is the one rotating. Maybe you hop, maybe you hook. And we stay present with all the organs coming with us over to the side. Couple of breaths more. Inhale. On your exhale, go ahead and bring yourself back to center. Mm, maybe you can already start feeling how the whole breath is regulating itself to that exact place where we are right now. So I'm just going to keep my blanket to the side because I'm facing you on the long side of the mat. But maybe you're just like me right now. You can keep your blanket where it is. Bring your hands behind your hips. Keep the knees bent. If you know the variation for the next, a little bit deeper, you can straighten your legs long. Roll your shoulders back. Strong connection, hands towards the earth, hips up. Or a reverse tabletop. Reach your hips up, 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 up. And have your gaze up towards the skies. Chest up, find your breath, maybe release your head back, as long as you can keep breathing or talking like I am. <laughs> Couple of breaths more, keep reaching, reaching, reaching. Slowly gaze back towards the navel and begin to lower the hips down towards the earth. Yes, well done. Shake, shake it, shake it, shake it. And as we shake it, we shake the whole body. And that actually go ahead and roll down. Bring your legs up and start shaking it all, shake it. The lips, the eyes, any sounds, any, anything that you can feel allows you to release all those 
patience holding in the bar. Ah, wow, feel that. Isn't that amazing? Can you feel all those energy flowing? Go ahead and bring the knees to the heart and give yourself a hug. A little ball of yourself here. Roll back down. We're going to stretch both legs up towards the sky. Mm -hmm. And for a little bit of ab work here. Let me just undo this. Um, move it over to the side. So we can have the palms touch and the index fingers if you feel that you need support right under your sacrum or the eyes over to the uh, arms over to the sides. Roll the shoulders down. Pelvis heavy, navel in, right? Inhale here. Exhale, reach the legs down towards the earth. Maybe we're not gonna go too far because we want the spine to stay flat, flat, flat. Come back on the inhale, point your toes. On the exhale, reach down. This is all breath work. So the movement of the body is just a bonus. So keep flowing with your breath. Inhale. And don't move until you've changed your breath. This is the exhale. Inhale. Exhale. At the end of the day, it's the breath, the best teacher of all. Because it's telling us what's okay to do next. And if the breath is not ready, we pause until the breath feels totally ready to take us with it. All right, inhaling. Let's do a few more times. Just follow the pace of your breath. And go back up, inhale. Exhale. Nice, we go next time. Legs stay up, take a moment, drop the armpits down towards the earth. Go ahead and bend your right knee and then lower the left leg low. Yes. We're gonna stretch the right leg up towards the skies, interlacing the fingers. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can reach a little bit higher up on your leg or not, no worries. See if you can level Square your hips. Nice. You don't now push your hands with your leg. Push your hands away and have the hands resist. Pull and push. Then reach your nose up toward your knee. Nice. You don't roll back down. Keep your leg up, but release the arms over to the sides. And now, with intention, we're going to lower the right leg down. <laughs> My hip was cracking. Maybe yours was too. Okay, let's go ahead and bend the left knee. Bring it close to the heart. And stretch the left leg long. Interlacing the fingers behind your leg. If you can go a little bit higher. Here's where the, of course, the strap or your belt, if you feel that it makes it more accessible, go there. Drop the shoulders, the armpits. Push with the leg, pull with the hands. Square, level your hips. Let's reach the nose up towards the knee. Keep resisting leg and hands. And roll back down. Delicious. We're going to bring the arms over to the sides. Keep the leg up. Connect to everything that connects to the movement of the leg. And with intention, the left leg reaches down towards the ear. Notice every single moment it takes for your leg to make it down. Oh, Shavasana, but it's not the finish in Shavasana. Every now and then I get that we are always, that we are maybe ready to be there. And we'll get there in a few moments. Move over onto your mat if you're, you manage to step out. 
Right. I bend the knees here. I have the heels as close to the ceiling bones as possible with the heels slightly pointing out. We do a bridge with an option for wheel pose. Arms to the sides, pinky finger side of the arms pressing down towards the earth. Engage your whole core and begin to push up. Push up, thighs up. Interlacing fingers behind your back. Walk your hands away from your shoulders and reach up and up, thighs up, up. Bringing your shoulder blades closer and closer together. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and release your arms up and over the head. Lift the heels high up, inhale. And on your exhale, slowly roll down. And have your arms follow. Have the heels come down. Yes. Take a moment here. We'll do one more again. Option to go for a wheel if that is what you're very familiar with. I'm not going to demo it today. We don't have time enough. But if you're really familiar with and feel comfortable, go there. Otherwise, we stay with one more back bend. The back bend is going to open the heart for us. We'll be preparing for this, the letting go the acceptance of what is here now. And now the heart needs to be open to receive it all. Yeah, pinky finger side of the hands down towards the earth, push up. Find your breath and let it go. Hold on to what you can hold on to support yourself. Maybe grasping the edges of your mat or interlace the fingers. And then to reach, reach, and reach. Beautiful. We're doing one more breath, releasing the arms open over the head. Come on to the ball of your feet and roll. See if you can feel one vertebrae at the same time, touching, 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 touching the ground. To feel yourself grounded. And that is trusting that you are supported by the earth beneath you. We are not alone. So we're all together in this. Bring the knees to touch, feet apart. Windshield wiper your legs from side to side. Mm -hmm. Come back to center. Bring the soles of the feet together, the knees open wide. Or recline butterfly. One hand to the heart and one to the belly. And let, once again, we've gone the whole loop. Bring yourself back to letting the gravity take over. No need to control anything else. Just be here. Notice the breath. The effect, effects of the breath in the movement of your body. And release the arms to the sides. Bring the knees back to touch, pressing the soles of the feet together. Lower the pelvis down as you bring the knees to touch. And then from here, ready for Shavasana, stretch your right leg long. And stretch your left leg long. Before we go into a total full Shavasana, we're gonna do alternate nostril breath. So if you feel like, like you need support on the back of your head, another way to use your blanket could be to place it right under your head. Always a good idea to support the head if you feel more comfortable. Mm -hmm. With the right hand, right no, uh, thumb over to the right nostril. Then bend your index and middle fingers. Close the right nostril to inhale on your left nostril. Hold your breath with your ring finger, lock your left nostril and exhale on the right. Relax your body. Inhale on the right nostril. Go ahead and hold, lock your right nostril with your thumb, exhale on your left. Inhale on your left. 
hold, lock the left nostril, exhale on the right. Inhale, right. Hold, lock the right nostril, exhale, left. Inhale, left. Hold, lock, left, exhale, right. Inhale, right. Hold, lock, exhale, left. Inhale, left. Hold, lock, left, exhale, right. Inhale, right. Hold, release your right hand or Shavasana, let go. And begin to bring your breath back to just natural breath. Letting go of any control of the breath. Extend your legs long. Extend your arms really long with your palms up towards the sky. And if you don't feel you have let go or not, it's not about right or wrong. Enough or not enough. You are letting go. You are letting the gravity take over for us for a few moments. You are trusting the earth beneath, holding all this heavy body, going into a deep yoga relaxation. Kind of love it. Draw to drop and soften. And the contents of the head to get heavier down towards the earth. Knowing that in Shavasana, more than any other poses, it's an opportunity to just be, not even with a goal in mind, no intention. It's when you can really allow yourself to be nothing else. Be here, be here now. And let everything else happen as it is supposed to be. Being exactly who you are, which from the beginning is exactly how you're supposed to be. No fixing, no changing, just being. And I would love to let you stay in Shavasana for as much as you'd like. So please don't feel like you need to get up now if you're not ready. But I am going to leave you here. With a few words, you can stay in Shavasana. I want to leave you with a few words from Thich Nhat Han. She's a spiritual, he's a spiritual Buddhist monk. If you haven't heard from him, he's amazing. I just want to leave you with his words in the morning for compassion. So he says, waking up this morning, I smile. I have 24 hours to live. I vow to, to live them deeply and learn to look at the beauty. <laughs> Sorry, I vow to live them deeply and learn to look at the beings around me with the eyes of compassion. And these are indeed times of compassion. I bring my hands together in front of my heart in gratitude for us connecting here today. Namaste. See you next time. Thank you so much. Bye.
Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.